it's time for our final can droid here on Toy Sember. Oh yeah, I could review all of them for this series, but there's only so many times you can hear someone talk about a toy soda can. This one, however, we do have to discuss. The final one released. Tricera. The can mode's paint job is uneventful. Straight up and down green on the front with a Triceratops logo dead center. What makes it odd are all the little bumps protruding from the can that come into play when transforming. Speaking of, he transforms not unlike Taco, unfolding all the way down where the tail section tabs everything together. But through some kind of physics magic, those little bumps are what's holding everything together inside that makes this dino mode solid. The Triceratops mode completely hides its can origins and has some clever molding to help its looks, like the hips of the dino legs in the sides. On the feed, we can see some painted claws and wheels done up like can tops to roll them around. In the front, the eyes get some orange paint and black detailing, but our green gem is now missing. It's replaced by a button. Push in the nose horn and lower the horn over the left eye to get its gimmick ready. Set the Tricera cell metal against the horns and hit the button. It's probably the least practical gimmick of the lot, but I love that it can actually interact with the metal it comes with. Speaking of, let's scan it. Torikara? What's that? However you pronounce it, Tricera Candroid was a great one to end the series on. And it's how we're going to end Toy Sember's look at Candroids. That means it's back to Transformers, and we are going to be looking at one of the most iconic icons of the franchise. Wait till we open tomorrow's present. It's going to be a big one. Music